Hello, welcome to C'est La Vie Tarot. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are in a very beautiful place at this time. Let's see exactly how your person is currently feeling about you at this time, what they're feeling about you. Um, now, again, you may or may not be in communication with this person. It's okay, right? If you're thinking about this person, you feel like this person's on your spirit, this is your person. So let's see exactly how this person is feeling about my viewers. Now, before we start, of course, check out the description box below if you're interested in a personal reading where we could look deeply in terms of how your person is feeling about you. But this is a obviously a general reading, right? You know the vibes. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. How is this person feeling about my viewers? Make it clear. Show us the truth. How do you feel about my beautiful viewers? I don't want to tell you how I feel about you. I don't want to. I don't want to tell Salavi either. I'm hiding my emotions. I'm concealing. I'm being secretive. Okay. I'm hiding. I'm hiding from you. I'm avoiding you. I don't want to show you how I really feel. I'm blaming things on work. I'm blaming things on different things. But I don't want to tell you how I feel about you. Right? I don't want to confess what my emotions are. So someone here is hiding their emotions from you. So a lot of you, obviously, you're just like, I'm confused. Why? Because I don't understand what's going on. Yes, I get it. I understand. You're dealing with someone that is truly not in a place where they want you to know how they feel because they feel like they would have to be vulnerable and they would have to be upfront and honest and all that good jazz. And this is someone here that doesn't want to do that. And of course, it's for a number of reasons, right? Ego, whatever it is. I don't want you to know how I feel. So I'm going to hide that. All right. Let's get to the chase here. Capricorn Cancer. How do you feel about my viewers? Yeah, I feel like this is a spiritual connection. That's how I really feel. I feel like this is a spiritual connection. I feel like there's a lot of fears around me. I feel like I literally manifested you in the way that you made me feel the way that we connected was so intense that if I were to tell you that you would say then why aren't we together and then that would just really throw me off here or you would obviously throw some of my actions back in my face and then you would say well if we have a spiritual connection then why are we even here why are we going back and forth why can't we invest in this and i feel like this is someone here that's battling with their emotions unstable emotions right turbulent energy i miss you i think about you all the time i can't tell you that though because i know that you would ask me right well then do something about it or let's work on the connection but because i have a lot of fears and i'm fearing that I'll possibly fall again or I'm fearing a number of things, whatever it may be. I'm just going to hide and I'm not going to express anything. So a lot of you are connecting with a very, very powerful connection, deep soulmate connection. And this person's not in a place where they're able to express that, unfortunately. Okay, we are going to look deeper and see what else spirit has for us. Let's see what else spirit has for us. Tell me more about how this person is feeling about my beautiful viewers. How do you feel? Wow. So this is someone here that understands here that you've been waiting for the truth. I've been waiting for you to be honest with me. I've been waiting for that long text that you normally send when you need something or when you're complaining about other things for you to explain how you feel. Right. So a lot of you, this person understands that you're waiting for something or you're in this place of what's going on. Um, and I feel like this person may have a lot of regrets here. OK, I do get regrets. I do get this person understands that they haven't been a very good friend, a very good lover. OK, give me more about this person. Give me more about this individual. Wow. OK, so this is someone here that I feel like that has not lost faith here i haven't lost faith i'm still open to working this out with you here i feel like this is someone here that's not going to be able to hold back on their emotions for very long from what i'm gaining here it's like i i know that i need to come in i know that i need to be brave I need to express myself now this is someone here again with the judgment energy i'm going to start to realize 
I'm going to start to understand there's like a, a strong epiphany energy coming in here that I need to do more, that I need to express something. Actions from this individual. Actions. Mm. Actions. Someone here needs to leave their past in the past here, okay? Release their past. This could be somebody here that really maybe in a negative mindset where they're very fearful again of love here to some degree now i feel like this is someone here that could travel towards you here um i feel like this is someone here that's going to rush in with some sort of text message with some sort of abrupt dm or however it is that this person wants to reach out to you this person wants to move forward and this person wants to know how is it that i could move forward with you now I will say for some of my viewers, this person feels um, that you've possibly moved on or you're possibly not interested any longer or you're possibly in this place where you don't trust them any longer. So I feel like this is someone here that's very motivated towards getting you back, but I feel like they are taking their time. I have to be honest with you. This person's taking their time. I'm waiting for the right time to do something since you're not doing anything. This was someone here that I feel like at some point they expected you to come in and you know, save the day. Um, they wanted you to come in and possibly change things to some degree. And I feel like a lot of you didn't do that. And now this person's in a place where they're sort of missing you. Okay. Missing you and hoping that you didn't move on, hoping that you didn't give up. All right. Now let's see how my viewers are feeling. How do my viewers feel? Yeah. You want balance. You want fairness. A lot of you are feeling like this is over for some reason. It's like the last conversation we had, c'est la vie, it's definitely over. That last situation is really over, right? And I feel like this is coming from a place where, for some of you, you're feeling like your emotions were ignored. You over-expressed. You expressed to this person how you felt, how you feel. And they somewhat shut it down or they didn't really open up. I'm also hearing some sort of phone call that happened here or I tried to reach out to this person or I invited this person to something i feel like for some of you you have some a trip that you plan together and now you're just at a place where you're saying this person's really not showing up so what's going on well let's see okay now for a lot of you you've taken the stance where you're just quiet you're quiet and i feel like this is someone here that intuitively knows that you are seeking a balanced relationship you're seeking something that makes sense you're seeking something that um, has some sort of truth here right intuitively a, a lot of you are watching and you're like yeah i know this person's gonna reach out i know they are right um i know that they're going to come in and possibly offer something but i just don't know what it is yet but when this person does come in i'll deal with that accordingly to some degree but I do feel like silently here, someone feels like they owe you an apology. They owe you some sort of um, offer that makes sense to your heart, that makes sense to this connection, the spiritual connection here. This is someone that knows that you're genuine. They know that you're coming from a very loving place. You're not coming from a place of hate or um, pressure or anything like that. You just want fairness. You just want this person to be honest. Someone here feels like someone here is being very secretive right? You're not being open. You're not telling me what's going on in that past relationship or that relationship that you have with your friend or that person that you're constantly texting. You're not telling me about that. And I just want to be in a balanced relationship. So a lot of you are in a place where you just want fairness. And although you love this person dearly, you want this person to be fair with you. And I feel like this is something here that a lot of you are waiting for right but at the same time i feel like this is someone here that is wanting to come in all right i feel like this person's going to come in they're they're also wanting to know like what the vibe is like how are you going to respond to me <laughs> how are you going to respond to me when i come in because i know i messed up in the past yeah i definitely messed up in the past okay so give me more for this connection spirit what do you have for this connection for my viewers a lot of you are healing at this time. Look at this. You deserve love. You deserve it. And I feel like a lot of you for this year, that is your target, right? Spiritual connection or not, right? It has to be fair. It has to be balanced. I cannot, like, look, come on. I can't do it. I can't play the games with you. 
And I feel like that's exactly how you're going to present yourself. How do they say it? Hmm. Be kind with your words, but ruthless with your actions, right? I feel like a lot of you are going to show this person with your actions that you're not really wanting to play the games. Not wanting to play the games anymore. I love you, but not that much, right? Make an effort. And I feel like this is exactly what your person understands that they need to do. They need to come in and they need to make an effort, right? Because I feel like great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So this person, if they're ready for this connection, I feel like that's exactly what they're going to do. Someone here is healing family issues, healing a situation with their father here, healing a situation with their sisters. All right. There's some family situations going on with some of you here that may be watching, right? It's like, I got to deal with that right? I got to deal with their judgments and all that other vibe, vibration, but I'm dealing with it. What else does my beautiful viewers need to know? God, look how this person comes in, right? They come in and they actually make an effort. And I feel like your person's going to do this. It's like they already know you, you've already manifested. I deserve love. I am love. And that's all I'm accepting. I'm accepting my vibration. What it is the message is, I am terrified of you rejecting me. Yeah. Hence why this person has not been able to really reveal exactly what they feel. I feel like this person is so in love with you. They just don't even know how to say it. Not only am I in love with you, I'm afraid that I'm going to get hurt again. So I'm just going to avoid it altogether. I'm in my 40s, 30s, but I'm still afraid for some of you. You are all I've ever wanted. I've manifested you. I've manifested you. Literally the minute that I saw you, I knew that you were the person that I manifested. I want to be more than friends. A lot of you are stepping out of the friend zone vibe, right? The, what was that word that they made up? Situationships, whatever that is. A lot of you are stepping out of that vibe. It's like, I'm not going to step into any situationships or whatever. I'm better than that. I'm better than, hmm, I'm better than being in a relationship where my person can't communicate. It's, it's not going to work for me. It's not going to work for us. God, I feel like this person's coming in. I'm telling you guys, just, just sit back and watch. There's someone that's coming in your life that is going to come in and give you the love that you never thought that you would have. Or some of you are manifesting it so you know that you'll have it. But you are so worth it. You deserve love and they're coming. Past person, new person. It's not even about who it is. It's the energy. It's the vibration. Like, yes, Lord. <laughs> All right. What, what else do we have here, spirit? All right. Thank you. And I still love you more than you'll ever know. Yes, of course you do. Okay. I need to heal my own issues first like i said someone here is like having a situation with family or work it's like someone here is going through something mm. and they're saying be patient with me i'm not saying to wait around for me and suffer i'm saying to be patient with me and live your life okay and we have i still love you more than you'll ever know Okay, so someone here is asking for time, but I do see a lot of you here um, getting some sort of offer that comes in for you, right? I want to apologize to you. I want to tell you how much I love you. I want to tell you how much you mean to me. I want to tell you how much I would love to move forward with you. And I also want to apologize for hiding and running and being secretive. I just want to apologize to you. Okay, so I will talk to you soon. Have a beautiful one, guys. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe if this resonates with you. And I love you. Have a good one.